Hey, what's up, the YouTuber? It's me again. And yeah. Yes, this video is practically the day after Christmas. December 26th of 2016. Sorry I haven't been making that many videos lately. It's been kind of busy in my life, actually, to tell you the truth. But, as you guys can see, I'm wearing a new t-shirt, and that is Die Hard is Murder. Fuck yeah. A great, great deathcore band. Please check them out. But, instead of me starting out with my usual intro, like I usually do, because... I just want to get straight to the point. And yes, today we're going to be doing a review on something I've been fucking dying to do for such a fucking long time. Yeah. And guess what that is today, motherfuckers? I, Stefan Goldberg, got for Christmas the one, the only. Boom. Cannibal Corpse, the unreleased death board recordings on vinyl record. Fuck yeah, check it out guys. Yeah. I finally got this record. I just listen I just finished listening to it right now, actually. It was fucking awesome. I'm surprised because the great audio on this. I'm surprised that's not even a official release because look. It says, the 1994 unreleased. So it is not released and to public. Which is fucking brutal, actually, by the way. And it has the original logo, as you guys can see right over there. I love the picture of the zombie just anally fucking the girl in the ass and fucking her with a knife. Which is awesome, by the way. I love it. I just fucking love it, by the way. So, yeah, this is a great record. I give this record, before I even continue more, I give this record a 10 out of 10 because it is so amazing that the quality of this record is like crystal clear quality, which I'm like, wow, that's really good for a Cannibal Corpse record. I can tell you that right now. Really good for a bootleg. This is just a bootleg. You can't even go into stores and... <laughs> look through the vinyls and be like, oh look, look what I found. No, you're gonna, you have to search very, very hard for this record. And uh, here's the back. I love how the blue back looks. Yeah, it says the unreleased 1994 Death Board recording. And yeah, has all the original lineup. Here it says Chris Barnes vocals, Paul Mazurkiewicz drums, Alex Webster bass, Rob Barrett guitars, and Jack Owen guitars. And has all these awesome songs on it. Basically, this is from their uh, <clears throat> their um, the Bleeding tour, actually. So basically, during the tour of the Bleeding, this was recorded onto vinyl record, and it's really fucking awesome, by the way. It really is. And the songs on this are number one, staring through the eyes of the dead. Number two, fucked with a knife. Number three. Stripped, raped, and strangled. Number four, The Undead Will Feast. Number five, I Come Blood. Number six, Covered with Sores. Number seven, Pulverized. Number eight, Born in a Casket. Number nine, Gutted. Number ten, Addicted to Vaginal Skin. Number eleven, The Bleeding. Number twelve, Put Them to Death. Number thirteen, Force Fed Broken Glass. Number fourteen, A Skull for Maggots. And number fifteen is my absolute favorite Cannibal Corpse song of all time. Hammer Smashed Face. So yeah, ending it off with Hammer Smashed Face. Wow, now that is incredible. Basically, there's only a few copies of these that ever exist. It's like, you know how hard of there is to get this album? You have to go far and wide to get this record. I can tell you that right now. You're going to have to go fucking far and wide to get this shit. Like... The quality of this record is so good that it makes Dismembering Dallas, the other one I got, so-so. This one is way better. This one is a really good death metal album. And I gotta say, here's the picture, by the way. I don't know if I showed you guys the picture. Yeah. Look how young Chris Barnes and Alex Webster and... Everybody was. Wow. This, they look so young. This is 1994. 
This is not even right now. This is in 2016. Wow, look at young Jack Owen. Wow, if he looks back and he will probably be like, wow, look at me. I was so young. Because, yeah, these were the Cannibal Corpse days, guys. Let me talk to you about that for a little bit. Like, these were the Cannibal Corpse days of the 90s when people were like, yeah, Cannibal. Like, you know, like when, when, when it was still going on. Like, Cannibal Corpse was still young. Like, this was before, like, all those other things happened. And you guys, I mean, now I'll have to explain to you. But, like, it was just before all that happened, and, uh, yeah, the band is totally different now than it is today. If you look back, like, these are really considered historic, like, vinyls, because somewhere down the road, when, this, when it's, like, 2025 or 28, these are gonna go for sale for a lot of money. These records are going to go on sale for a lot of money. That's why I'm very happy to be able to say, hey, I actually own this on vinyl. The, the old classic unreleased death board recordings of Cannibal Corpse. Yeah, C-A-N-N-I-B-A-L-C-O-R-P-S-E. As the original logo. I love this, by the way. I'm sorry. I just love looking at it because it's such a great record. The album cover just, whoa. Pretty explicit, huh? But I love it. Ugh, like the sound quality of this record. I'm gonna talk about the sound quality now. Is crystal clear. Just like I keep on saying, crystal clear. Like on the, I was just playing on my vinyl record right now. Like right over there, I was playing my vinyl record, and uh, I was playing it right just a few minutes ago. And I gotta say, wow, I can listen to this record a billion times and never get old of this record. Never get old of this because this is really just amazing. It is. Like, the, oh, we're looking for one more now, and that is Butchering Chicago 1992 from their Butchered at Birth tour, which I am going to be looking for, but I'm going to try to see if I can do it, because if I can find it, I'm buying that right away. Because, hell, Rome is done. Just one more, and I have all three. Like, I already have Dismembering Dallas and the unreleased Death Board recordings in 1994. Just need 1992 and I'll practically have, like, all the classic bootleg Cannibal Corpse vinyls. And it's amazing because these are really vinyl records to really, 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 really hold in your collection. I love this record so much. Like, I gotta say, like, the record itself is just beautiful. Whoever, it's surprising how somebody out there recorded this show in crystal clear quality, put it on a vinyl record, made this, and then made this, and sold it out there online for people to have. It's amazing, you know? And then you look at it, and you're like, whoa, look at this. You know? Wow. I'm just looking at it, this makes me feel so happy. Like, I would never get bored of this record. And really, for you people out there, you can actually go on YouTube right now as we speak. If you pause this video, like, go ahead, pause the video. And uh, open up a new uh, tab. Go on YouTube and type in Cannibal Corpse, the unreleased Death Board Recordings, full, and you'll find the entire thing. Hold on, just pause the video. Did you see it? I told you it was there. Isn't that great? You can listen to the full record on YouTube without even having to, without even having to like buy the record. But you know, it's better to have it on physical copy. By the way, it's better to have it on physical copy. Oh, Jesus fucking H Christ! This is a great record. This was practically the best gift I got this entire Christmas. I fucking love this record. Really, Chris Barnes' vocals were beautiful on this. The guitar playing was beautiful, bass, fantastic, like, everything, everything. Even the drums were beautiful. Like, this is really just a record to have. I just, and, uh, I'm just so happy that I can say I actually own this now on vinyl. Uh, I love the cover. It's so, what's the word? Misogynistic. Which is fucking brutal, by the way. Because that's what makes death metal, man. That's what makes death metal. 
you have to in Cannibal Corpse, as you guys probably all know, it's obvious. Cannibal Corpse is well known for their explicit album covers. That's why a lot of their records look like this because it makes Cannibal. So yeah, that's my review on this record. So I'm gonna end it off right here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. So overall, keep it metal, keep it brutal, keep it awesome. Hope to see you guys also in my next video. Have a fantastic, great rest of your day. And there's more videos to come about me talking about my new stuff I got for Christmas and more reviews on the way. So yeah, now that I'm free and I'm done with school, I can talk about more stuff with you guys. So yeah, so that's gonna end it off right here. So yeah, keep it metal, keep it brutal, keep it awesome. Hope to see you guys also in my next video. And remember, always keep it metal. Always keep it metal. And uh, good.